can see I'm moving down the road. It's a rainy day, so you gotta be safe out here. You gotta, oh, up. did you see the speedometer just drop to zero? Yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's raining. I'm back. So I'm working on this Nissan Maxima. It's a 2000, no, I'm lying. It's a 96. It's an old Maxima. It has 333,976 miles on the clock. And uh, customers complain of uh, check engine light on, but I cleared the codes right now because I wanted to go drive it and see if I can uh, duplicate the issue and see how long it takes for the light to come back. So I'm actually driving, not as we speak, as you can see I'm parked, but I gotta go drive this car. And there's an issue with the speedometer. Now this car has been back a couple times already. It's been back maybe three or four times for the same issue, but I've never touched it. So now it's my turn to fix it. So let's have a look. So this is an intermittent issue. The problem comes and goes. This car has been here before to the shop and uh, they replaced the speed sensor that goes on the transaxle. And I'm not sure if they did some wiring, but right now it's in my hands and I gotta fix it. So I'm driving, it's a rainy day. Now, uh, I've been looking into this. Check engine light was on. It had a P0500 and a P0600. Uh, 500 is a speed sensor code and 600 is a no communication code. Uh, so we could have a potential wiring issue from the speed sensor up to the instrument cluster. Because you can see that it's not working. So one quick test that you can do is this. Check it out. Let me just get on a straight road because I'm going to have to let go of the steering wheel so that I can smack this. Boom. There you go. Did you guys see that? Speedometer starts working. And... Uh, that tells me that the problem is up in here, inside the cluster. Maybe we got a poor connection. Maybe we got some loose wires back there. Um, this is an intermittent issue. Uh, one thing I noticed is that when you're driving over bumps, the speedometer just stops working and then you hit another bump and then it starts working. Hold on, let me clear my windshield because this is dangerous. All right. So uh, I'm taking this back to the shop. And uh, I'm gonna take the cluster off so that I can do some checks. We might need to replace the cluster. We might just uh, we might be able to fix it if we just take it off and uh, maybe fix some wires or depending on what it is. So let me uh, make a U turn. Oh, I see the speedometer stopped working again. No more speed. So if you guys got this issue and you smack your cluster, then more than likely your problem is gonna be there. Watch this. That tells me that my uh, problem is right there behind the cluster, so I don't need to go down to the speed sensor. It, it could have been a defective speed sensor, maybe some, some wiring issue, but right now um, I'm looking at the cluster or poor connection behind there. So let me go back and take this apart and then we'll figure this one out. All right, let me go back to the shop and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so check this out. I got the cluster up. There's just two screws up there that you gotta take off. And then you gotta pry from this corner and pry over from this corner. If you look at the back of this plastic, it's just held in with these little locking tabs. And same thing on this side, another locking tab. And you just yank on it, very careful. And then you can sneak it out of there. At the same time, you gotta push down on this. It's pretty flexible, so you'll be able to get it out. Once you have this out, you got the cluster, which has three screws, one up here, one down here and one down there. Take those three off. Then you can access the back of the cluster, remove those three connectors and check it out. This is what we're looking at now. This is what we're dealing with, this cluster. Now this right here, if you flip it over, that's our speedometer. That's the one that we're dealing with. And these four screws right here are for the speedometer. These screws come loose. And uh, let me see if I can get this for you. But what I'm noticing on the speedometer is that not only are these screws a little loose, but a lot of the other ones are also loose. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but I'm turning each screw, I'd say a good quarter turn. That's a very common issue on these Nissan Maximas. So if you guys have this Nissan Maxima with this issue, Take it off, tighten all the screws, and see if that helps you out because a lot of these are loose. 
you know so that could be that could very well be your problem just go to all of them and give it a little quarter turn so what I'm gonna do right now is put this back no parts need to be changed right now make sure you these are the connections and this is what makes contact with the connectors so um, make sure all of those are good and then we're gonna go on a little test drive and make sure that you know this problem is fixed but if, it, if it's not then I'm gonna do some more checks and we'll continue with this car but um that's gonna be our first step make sure all the little screws that are up in here make sure they're all tight all of these were loose I'd say about a quarter turn so we'll see how it looks after this so let me go ahead and put this back and we'll see if it fixed it all right so now that I got all the screws tied up in the back of the cluster I'm taking that out on a little test drive and make sure that it doesn't fail and if that if that does it for me then you know it's it's a quick fix we save the customer money uh, you guys can save money too if this is a problem you have you know just try it out first because it doesn't cost you anything maybe like 30 minutes of your time to take this thing off uh, so what I did right now let me show you what I did let me pull over all right, so what I ended up doing was I put the cluster back, I put the three connectors, but I didn't put the, the trim that goes around it just in case I gotta get back in here and do some extra testing or, you know, gotta take off the cluster. So I just took it off. I, I mean, I just put it back in with the three screws, I'm holding it in. And as I'm driving, I just gotta make sure that my speedometer works like it should. And right now it does. And what I'm doing too is as I'm driving it, as I'm smacking it, I'm giving it a little bit of smacks. And you can see that that needle is not dropping out. Obviously, you gotta go on a longer test drive than just a couple minutes, but you can hand it back to the customer or just drive it on the daily if it's your car. And if that does it, then, you know, problem solved. You don't have to change any parts. And um, that's it. Quick tip for you guys, you know, so on this one, it's a common issue. It's a common problem that the screws, um, come loose i don't know why they come loose i i wouldn't recommend putting any thread lock or anything on there because if you ever got to get back in there it's going to be pretty tight to get them off it's going to be pretty hard to get them off but you know just drive it smack it and make sure that it doesn't fail and that's it you can call this a fix so i'm going to end the video right here i got to drive this back and if you guys like what you see here and if it's if this helped you guys out don't forget to give the video a like drop a comment down below and let me know if this worked for you guys or not and um subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys on the next video i gotta go back to the shop well as you guys saw i took it on a test drive and it's it's not acting up it's actually good so i'm just gonna finish putting on the trim and then i'm gonna call this a fix and then that's it hopefully this works for you guys too you know just tighten the screws up in the back of the cluster if they're loose this customer always comes here to the shop so if he has any more problems or the same problem comes back then he'll be back for this but I'll keep you guys posted, but do that first. Don't change any parts. Tighten your screws, and uh, you never know. You might have a screw loose. Peace out, guys. I'll see you on the next one.